Well, shoppers have always loved going for some retail therapy without necessarily having to have a specific item in mind to buy. Now retailers are designing their businesses around that very behaviour. It's called treasure hunt shopping and uh, it's a whole experience for customers. Now Jo Munro is the savvy shopaholic and she joins us now from our uh, studio. Um, good to see you Jo. Just, I mean what is treasure hunt shopping though for people who don't really know what that term is? Yeah, it's a funny term. Really, it taps into something that we shoppers do naturally. Sometimes you just go out shopping with a girlfriend and have a wander around, not for any particular reason or for a particular item, but you just go out to the shops and you may have a coffee and it's a social thing. Or you might be going, say, Mother's Day shopping and you're not sure what to get, so you're going to have a look. Really, that's what it is. But where the treasure hunt comes in is when you're, you get some little gold nugget or some bargain. And so now retailers are designing their business around that because they know we like to go into the shops and have a look. Mm -hmm. So now they're, they're actually building their business around it. One of the things they're doing is uh, tapping into that by having lots of short run stock that's really amazing, amazing value, but it's only available for a very short time and it sells out. And why they do that is it's addictive for our shoppers to go in. We know it's there and we're going to make a decision to buy straight away. But also mm. it promotes constant foot traffic. And for bricks and mortar retail, foot traffic is key. So it's a really good strategy from their point of view. Yeah, actually I'm thinking, I've noticed a couple of retailers that you kind of know, if you go back each, each separate time you might go back, there'll probably be different stuff because the stuff sells out and you can only get it that, probably that time you're there. Um, right. And of course, uh, it's all very addictive. Uh, is it word of mouth or is it heavily marketed, this type of stuff? Well, see, retailers are clever with this one because it, it gets such a, you have to be, be in there to get the great deals, people talk about it. So shoppers will share to the point that it gets a bit culty. Like if you look at yes. social media, there are definitely groups and factions with certain retailers or just on saving money that will say, hey, and look, one of the great examples of this is Kmart. Kmart, I don't think, yep. have intentionally started uh, treasure hunt shopping, but as a result of the great value in homewares and all the social media around it, when they re release uh, their new catalogue with say chairs people mm -hmm. go nuts and and are trying to seek them out but uh, that's a byproduct of the great things they're doing there are retailers that specifically tap into this now if we're talking uh, impulse buying in some ways can we still talk about <laughs> saving money i feel like they don't go Absolutely. in the same sentence yeah well, see, my thing about being a shopaholic is about being a savvy one. So you can <laughs> go and shop to your heart's content, but it's about saving the money. So this is where there's some real benefits for shoppers who know that retailers are doing this. Um, so what you can do is save money because you know they're going to have amazing products. And when I say amazing, some of them are the really high-end designer products, really, really inexpensive. And so you know you're going to go and see it and get an amazing deal. Uh, the other thing is you'll go and you'll look for, I don't know, you might be going to buy an Easter present but you'll find an amazing cashmere coat so you're going to find something that's fabulous but something that you normally wouldn't have found at that price sometimes you know 60 70 80 percent off so there's some real benefits in going to these treasure hunt locations what are your favorite destinations spill the beans <laughs> I've Come got on. a few what a few <laughs> faves. TK Maxx has to be one of my favorites especially on the the high-end brand product so if you've ever been overseas and you've shopped TJ Maxx TK Maxx in Australia is the, the same store and what they do is they do um, the end of run products or over over uh, stocked products they buy those end of stock and they bring them into their store their store you cannot buy anything online from TK Maxx it's literally you go into the store you treasure hunt the store they have thousands and thousands of new products arriving at every store every week you may see something today it's not going to be there tomorrow and that's half the fun of it and I love to go in and just wander through and I do have a friend and we go hey let's go to TK Maxx tonight and that's us going out and having dinner and, and shopping TK Maxx. But I've uh, looked, when I, one of the stores in Sydney opened, they had Louis Vuitton handbags, wallets, as I said, Diana von Furstenberg mm. coats at the moment. It's a good time to go and get coats and jumpers from them because they've got a whole new range in. Uh, but they have all sorts of things from cookware to crystal and you can get beautiful, beautiful gifts there or just, you know, gifts for yourself. So mm. TK Maxx is definitely one of the, the best treasure hunt locations because their whole business is designed around it. And you've got um, uh, some advice about a new app that actually helps you with this I treasure have. hunt <laughs> shopping. So what's this one? How does Absolutely. it Absolutely. There's a new app called Sweep and it basically taps into augmented reality, which is sounding very high tech, I know, but it's kind of like 
Pokemon Go for shopping. So it really taps into your treasure hunter capabilities, but via your app. So what happens is wherever I am, so I'm sitting in the studio now, if I open up that app, it'll show me in this location where there are sales on items. So I can be walking down the street anywhere in Australia, go into the app and go, hi, I've got 15 minutes to do some shopping. And it will show me all the locations locally where there are sales on. So it, it does a big scrape of all the sales that are on and it goes into this app. People can also upload uh, the sales that they see as well. So for people like me, I'm always talking about, you know, getting a bargain. But uh, it's amazing and uh, it's kind of the way of the future for we shoppers who love, love, love a bargain, even for if you've got 10 minutes. Very interesting. So that was Sweep, was it? Sweep? Sweep, yeah. All right, interesting. Um, I've learned something new, that's for sure. Thank you so much. The savvy shopaholic, uh, Joe Munro, you live up to your expectations and your reputation every time. Thank you. See you next time. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Still to come here on Your Money Live.